on the edge of Melbourne's CBD, an example of future modern living. But does it really work for the locals? And I like the plans for the docklands. I like the wide open spaces and that it's made already for pedestrians and bikes and public transport. Uh, for us it's really convenient to go, for, to go to the city, especially for my husband yeah, because so he work works... on Collins on. Street, so uh -huh. it's just a really short walk. It's oh. like a 10 minute walk every yeah. day. So I basically um, don't spend hours commuting. So I spend hours with my baby. As a young family, do you feel the Docklands meets your needs or is there more that you'd like to see here for you as a family? Well, there was a bit more of a green area. And the other thing I think should be more planned are some more green spaces. So. It just makes an environment more pleasant. I mean, obviously the trees which have been planted need time to develop. And I mean, everyone just likes to see a bit of greenery around them. I know a lot of the apartment buildings, like the one I'm in, does have its own sort of outdoor area. But it would be nice to have some communal parks. Emily and Erin from Urban Reforestation have come up with a solution, a community garden project. The idea is to create a sense of community and you know, social, cultural activation in the Docklands um, and using the garden is essentially a tool to make this happen. There is a community garden, but I'm mm -hmm. not too sure how... The future what's this? Of it. Yeah. <laughs> what's I think this? they're moving it here or they're trying to do something about it. Mm -hmm. we, I we think that's a really good idea. We call it, it's the Docklands Social Garden. Mm -hmm. So it's a place where, as I say, it's used as a tool to bring people together around sustainable lifestyles. Um, hopefully by December this year there'll, there'll be um, some sort of structure around that garden area to be, be developed and then hopefully finalised by mid next year. So many people have contributed to the development of the community gardens, but the future of the gardens is in the community's hands.